Do you own a travel trailer and you've been thinking about upgrading to a fifth wheel, but you don't want one of those big 35, 40 foot fifth wheels? Or maybe you're in one of those larger fifth wheels and you're thinking, boy, it sure be nice to find something a little bit smaller that'll get me into national parks and state parks more easily. Yeah, me too. My name's Patrick and we have owned everything from a 13 foot teardrop all the way up to a 35 foot fifth wheel. And currently we're in about a 24 foot travel trailer, but we've been thinking we're at a point in our lives where we might like to go back to a fifth wheel, but we still want something small enough that we can get into state parks, national parks, not have an issue finding campsites. And I think I might have found our next RV. So what I wanna do is show you this brand new floor plan from Keystone's Cougar Line. It's the 23 MLE. Now what Cougar has done is they've taken one of their most popular floor plans for a couple's camper and they've turned it into a small fifth wheel. This fifth wheel is under 28 feet long and it's part of their half ton towable series, which means some half tons may be able to actually pull this RV. And honestly, with our three quarter ton brand new Silverado 2500, no problem for us. Let's go ahead and start on the outside of this RV. And first of all, I wanna say a huge shout out to Barton Lake RV in Fremont, Indiana. They are our hometown Cougar dealer. We've bought several RVs from them and we're currently here at the Fort Wayne RV show and they're letting me come out and film this RV just for you. And so I'm gonna do a quick walk around, but if it seems tight in here, it's because we're at the actual RV show. So I'm gonna start on this side just to show you real quickly some things. Now, on this outdoor storage, here's all of our water hookups. Look at this big pass-through storage. And I'm gonna go to the other side, but I wanted to point out, Cougars now are coming with solar in on the RV already. You can see we've got a battery cutoff over there, got our solar charge controller. We have auto leveling on this RV. I'm so excited. There's gonna be two 30-pound propane tanks on this RV. And anytime you see this circle opening, this is one of those tankless water heaters that's gonna come on this fifth wheel. I also wanna point out right down here, we have road armor suspension and we have Goodyear endurance tires. So very well done. Got a big slide out on this side and then right here's gonna be our fresh water hookup. 50 amp service and they've included a roof ladder. Now we're not seeing roof ladders on a lot of the newer RVs these days. We have a nice, small, condensed outdoor kitchen. We've got this hot point refrigerator and we have this capital griddle. And honestly, for an outdoor kitchen, to me, these are the things I would want in an outdoor kitchen. I don't necessarily need the sink or anything like that. So they've really utilized some space that may have went unutilized and turned it into an outdoor kitchen. Got a nice big awning on this. Obviously has its LED lighting. Look how big this opening is for this pass-through storage. Now, a couple things here. If you want a TV outside for entertainment, we've got your electrical hookup, which is hooked up to an inverter. Anytime you see these yellow stickers on these Cougars, that means that outlet is hooked up to the built-in inverter on your trailer. We also have hookups for your TV, satellite prep, right here in command. Love this, which means we're gonna be able to control everything when we get inside from a central panel, or you're gonna be able to control things from your smartphone phone. Looks like we're also hooked up for a uh, pre-wire for a TPMS. And then what they've done in here, I really like this. This up here is this like plastic surface that you might see in a toy hauler garage. It's going to make it so much easier to clean than had they used the carpet all the way through. I also look at the construction on this aluminum frame. I love the fact that the welds are on both sides. I mean, Overall, I just am really impressed. We owned a Cougar fifth wheel for over seven years. Lived in that thing during the summer for six of those years. The thing was a beast, really held up well. And then we have the Lippert uh, solid step. Um, got the nice big grab handle. Now right here in the front of this fifth wheel, this is where we're gonna find our batteries. They're gonna be housed right here. Got a battery shut off right there. They also have put the spare tire right up front here. And then you can actually see your front landing gear and that is all tied into that auto leveling system. We have a nice light right up here. That way if we're trying to set up at night, we've got plenty of lighting. All right, let's talk some specs. 60 fresh. 60 gray, 30 black, 
I love the tank sizes. Now weight, they're telling me, depending on how you get this option, you should plan on about 7,500 pounds from the factory, but the trailer is rated up to 9,900 pounds. So throw on a full tank of fresh water and you're still going to have probably 2,000 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. Now, if you're wondering about uh, pin weight because you're looking at a half ton, pin weight on this is around 1550 from the factory. And again, depending on how you load it. So that's why I say it might work with some half ton trucks. You're really gonna wanna find out what your half ton truck is rated for. But if you're in a three quarter ton or a one ton, you are gonna have absolutely no issues taking this RV out on the road and having a great time. Let's go inside because that's usually where everybody wants to see. So you're going to enter mid rig on this particular fifth wheel. And so the first thing I see is dedicated seating area. You can see here we have these real nice like theater style seating. They recline, built in heat and massage. Talk about relaxing while you're glamping. And then right across from here, a couple of things. Number one, it has a dinette. So there's still a place in this small fifth wheel for you to dine and right Right up here, look at that big 40 inch LED TV directly across from your theater seating. So what a great layout. Uh, so many times you see these TVs, they're, they're in weird places and it's hard to actually watch if you do want to watch TV. Now this is a rear kitchen model and look at the counter space. You know, in RVs we always talk about there's not enough counter space. You will not have that issue with this fifth wheel. So we have the microwave right up here, tons of counter space, and look at these windows. There is so much natural daylight that you will get off of this. We have the big uh, farmhouse sink, and I love that it's double basin. Our RV has a single basin, it takes way too much water to fill it up. This, we can put water in one side, allow our dishes to dry in the other. We've got this oversized sprayer, just some really nice, and it's metal, yeah. Nice. We've got a three burner cooktop right up here. This is the Furion. And like the Furion products all have, look at that, some fancy blue lighting. Ooh, fancy. And this also then has an oven. So if you want to bake your cookies, your biscuits, um, you could probably even throw a small turkey in there at Thanksgiving. Now you might be wondering about refrigerator. Refrigerator is going to be right over here. Super excited about the fact that they are doing a 12 volt in here. And one of the things you're going to notice about the 12 volt refrigerators, they give you a lot more space because you're not going to see any coils in the back. It's going to give you more refrigerator space in a smaller package. I really, really like that. Also, if you're now right here below the stove, look at this. You want to bring some pots and pans? Don't worry, you can. And then right here under the sink, lots of storage. One, two, three, and finally another deep one for your fourth drawer. Up above, we have lots of cabinetry. And notice here, this is what I look for when I'm looking for a little bit nicer RV. I want to see where they're mounting their hinges. And on this line of the Cougars, they have these interior mounts, nice and deep. There's another one. And look at this, they put a shelf up here for you. So a lot of times they'll just leave this wide open and then you've got to figure out what to do with it. And then right here above our vent hood, that's one big opening. So lots of places for storage inside. Now, as we leave the kitchen area, I'm going to pan around and look over here, look at this big pantry. This is crazy. This is what you would see on a large fifth wheel, one of these huge pantries. We also have nice storage right up above and look at this so now you don't have to worry about where you're going to put that coffee maker you can set up a whole coffee bar if you want or better yet let's just set up a whole bar because you have plenty of storage right down below here right up the steps we have your bedroom in this fifth wheel now the bedroom actually has a slide out just for the closet space and what that's going to do is it's just going to allow you to have more closet space by having this little bit of slide look at this plenty of hanging closet space. So we're thinking about using this for semi-retirement, take it out on the road for several months at a time, plenty of room for our clothes. We also have nice deep drawer space for clothes. And then this is a queen size bed in here. 
and nice and deep storage there. We also have our outlet USB on both sides. I really like that. And again, we have more storage up here. And if that's not enough, how about a little more storage up here? We have a vent right here. And honestly, what I would do is I'd go ahead and get a Max Air fan installed, help to do some fan. But I believe it's possible on these, don't quote me, I think we could do a second AC. But honestly, in a 27 foot fifth wheel, I don't think you need that. Now, one of the things I do want to point out is we do have a little bit of a step up right here. Not bad at all when you look at my foot. And then look at this. I am actually standing on that and I am five foot nine and I still can put my hand above my head. Even though we have a little bit of decrease in head space on this fifth wheel, there is still plenty of room for me to get in here. And it looks like there's a spot over here. If we want to mount a TV in the bedroom, we could do that. We are going to require ducted air in our next RV and this Cougar has it. Now let's go in and take a look at the bathroom, which is right outside of your bedroom. I like the fact that it's outside of the bedroom. That way if you have guests, you have privacy. So we have this nice porcelain toilet. They even included the towel bar. And look at this. This is crazy how deep and how much storage in this fifth wheel there actually is. And then look at the shower. Holy cow, we've got this nice glass sliding door, but what I like is this little bench. So if you did want to sit down like my wife to shave her legs or something. Wow, look at this, look at this. And the fact that we have, we have the skylight right here, but even without the skylight, we have quite a bit of headroom for me. And again, I'm about five foot nine. This right here is a big medicine cabinet. Got our nice sink, metal, love it. And we have some drawers, three drawers down here for storage. And that's not enough. A little bit more storage right there. This might be perfect for if you want your wet wipes. We carry wet wipes with us. Maybe set you some toilet paper in there. That would be nice for that. And then we always have to do the toilet test. Yes, I am very concerned. I hate RVs where there's no room for your legs and I tell you what this definitely passes my toilet test so plenty of room in here and what they've done is they have actually done a sliding door so we don't have to worry about it swinging open. Right outside the bathroom is where we're going to find our in command system so from here we're going to be able to turn lights on and off and just run the whole RV and again you can Bluetooth to this so you don't even have to mess with it if you're outside and you want to make changes. Um, we also have a heater for the bathroom. Batteries. Now you might say, Patrick, why are we heating the batteries? Because the Cougar line in this particular trailer is throwing in lithium batteries for you. One of the concerns with lithium is when it gets below 32 degrees, you could damage them if you're trying to charge them. So they just put a heater on them and uh, that way you don't have to worry. And then I come down two steps and I'm right back out in our living room. And right there's those steps I went up to get to your bedroom and your bathroom. So is this our next RV? I don't know. What do you think? Let us know down in the comments what you think about this particular Cougar fifth wheel. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.